All right, and welcome to another video with me, Simon, and my co-host Ivanka Milenkovic from Ecofungi in Serbia. And uh, in this vodcast, we are going to talk about mushroom cultivation and air conditioning because uh, we get uh, a lot of uh, questions but also we see a lot of people uh, using air conditioning uh, in their uh, growing units uh, and then uh, uh, Ivanka and uh, myself we just go like this oh my god so uh, we wanted to do a, a video about it because it's a really uh, common mistake for beginners for the beginning a small scale uh, mushroom farmer so uh, Ivanka uh, air conditionings what do you think when you hear about that you I am getting sick <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> no uh, yes i am i am uh, getting sick in the positive thing because uh, uh, unfortunately there is a several aspect of one mistake so this is one of the crucial uh, aspect of the successful cultivation and unfortunately most often uh, point uh, for the money wasting and that's something which definitely uh, Oh, I think that one of the most important aspects of our MLN uh, knowledge transfer or call whatever is that cultivation, uh, is air conditioning, uh, air conditioning uh, uh, system. I would like, uh, um, I would like just in one sentence to, uh, to suggest that all who listen to us think where they can find the mushroom in the nature. So that is the first question where, what all of us have to ask ourselves before that we start our mushroom business. And even if they had never found the mushroom in the nature, they have to see and they have to look in the movie and fantastic video and everything uh, and, found, and try to find a real, a real uh, piece picture where the mushrooms can be founded, where, anywhere where the wind is not strong, anywhere where uh, the, uh, the humidity is high, but where there, there is no river, there is no water, there is no lake in surrounding because mushrooms are not fish. And finally, they can found uh, a mushroom at the end of the day after the strong rain when the air is fresh and when temperature is a little bit lower than day before. So exactly that we need to simulate in our growing units. And how we are going to do that, it is very important. Absolutely not with air conditioning because in order to have successful microclimatization in your growing unit. You need to make the peace and to make symbiotic, like we said in the introduction of art, to make a collaboration between air humidity, uh, quality of air, which means percentage of the CO2 and oxygen, and the third and last condition is the temperature. That is total opposite of the no, most important and most often uh, way of thinking of our mushroom uh, entrepreneurs. They always first think about the temperature, second about the humidity and about the air quality nobody does not think. That's definitely nobody never ask that they, they are totally put that on site. So in order to have perfect cultivation condition for the creating of wonderful fruit bodies without long stems, you need to provide air exchanging, which will not be an air movement, which will not be faster than two meters per second inside of the growing unit, to decrease the temperature on about 16, 17, 18, 
we will talk about later why we are flexible in that sense and slightly increase humidity, but never make a water on the floor what really will make, uh, I, I'm sorry, my English is not so bad. So Simon, let me help. Uh, we do not need the water which is stable on, on the floor of our growing unit. Like uh, puddles. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So in order to do that, first, what you must not do is to buy simply air conditioning system, because maybe you will have the temperature which is okay, but you will never have a proper air circulation and you will never have a proper quality of the air inside of your growing unit. So please, beside that very first idea for all of you guys who start the business will be to buy air conditioning system and which will be advice of all engineers who I admire very much, but they do not grow the mushroom. They are doing air conditioning for the people and our demand and mushrooms demand are totally different. So beside your first intention to buy air condition, please avoid that idea and forget that idea forever. Yeah, yeah. It, it's uh, it's really interesting because when uh, we uh, got to know you, uh, we were also very focused uh, on uh, the high humidity and, uh, you know, get high humidity and get high humidity. And uh, our humidity was even so high. It was up to 99% at some point uh, that uh, uh, we had uh, green mold growing everywhere. Um, it was it was not uh, uh, dry also at some points, which during the growing uh, phase, uh, not the fruiting phase, but the growing phase, you, you need to lower your uh, humidity. Uh, so we're not going to go into all the details of all the different uh, yeah. aspects of the different growing uh, uh, phases of the mushroom. And then uh, uh, we encourage people to do either an online or an offline course with Ecofungi or uh, with Rotterdam. But the important thing is that people do not invest uh, in that air conditioning uh, system to get the, the proper conditions. And uh, what I like about uh, our uh, first meeting uh, in the MLN in Rotterdam in 2013, uh, 14, uh, use you sort of make a drawing. Uh, so, okay, so this is what we uh, need uh, to have. Uh, and I'll, I'll just uh, grab it up here because uh, we did... Um, a drawing on that and we uh, wrote uh, on our blog uh, uh, we made a drawing uh, uh, of that uh, and there uh, here you can clearly see that there's a it, it's about circulation eh? it's about yeah. um, having the option of circulating the air in the room and it's about having uh, access of fresh air from the outside that again is um, um, depending on uh, the, the different phases, uh, the growing phase or the incubation uh, uh, phase. Oh, so, yes. th those are, so th those are the same. That's a little bit different with this terminology because of language. Yeah? We, we, are, we are both not native English. Yes. <laughs> So we're sometimes struggling with uh, uh, also with these words, but uh, so you have two phases, the incubation or growing uh, phase and the fruiting phase. And the fruiting phase is where the fruit bodies are uh, forming. And um, so, so the, these different phases, you need to uh, accommodate uh, through your ventilation system. So on the block, uh, there is this clear drawing. Uh, is You know the drawing by heart, Ivanka. Uh, is there any special things you want to uh, mention about it? Uh, about the, the, the drawing, you mean? Mm -hmm, yeah, about that circulating of air, having yeah, those options. Yes, of... I'm so, uh, yes, the point is that uh, the air, oh, all the, the drawing you can find on the blog and also you can find uh, in, in our manual for small mushroom entrepreneur. That is also a very simple one. It is the, the handbook which we created together, also like result of MLN collaboration. That, that yeah. handbook, by the way, is a free download if yeah. you join the Mushroom Learning Network community platform. Yes, and it is very important to, to see. Uh, uh, or just to come back on the nature, do you have uh, mushrooms where the wind is strong? No, you will never have the mushroom when the wind is strong. You will have the mushroom anywhere around the corner 
where, where just wind uh, stop after the just storm we, after the storm we just stop what is the important important is that air which is coming inside of your growing unit just imagine that it is your uh, your uh, uh, fan that this is the fan air which is coming from outside and blow in the growing unit needs to be preconditioned, which means that it must be or cooled down or heated up and then just let me allow to say ready to use, air has to come inside of the growing unit. But we have to think about two aspects. One, energy saving, which is very important, and second is the fact that mushroom likes to have a little bit of the higher CO2 level than, than we like, which means that that pure outside air is not 100% good for them. So together with energy saving aspect, we created opportunity that fan a little bit take air from inside of the room and a little bit from outside of the room. So when it is very cold or when it is very hot, instead that we heat up or cool down 100% of the fresh air from outside, we take 50% from outside and 50% from inside. We mix that cool or heat up and ready to use air uh, implement in our growing unit. It looks so complicated, but it is cheaper. It is more simple than one ordinary airco, what you are going to pay several hundred thousand, several hundred euros. And this is also very important that you know, maybe this is the, the point what all of you guys will remember the best. Air conditioning system, what you use in your kitchen house or in our office, which is used in your home, use only 5% of the fresh air from outside, even less. That air condition only turning the air inside of our room. And our mushrooms need the fresh air in order to flush properly. So please, forget air conditioning system. Go on blog, go on our handbook or join all our schools. We will de describe that in details. And I would like to tell you, we will save your money and we will make money for you because thanks of that, you will have at least 30% heavier mushroom than with air condition. And unfortunately, very often with air condition, you will not have the mushroom. Okay, excellent. Uh, I think uh, this is uh, the, the most vital information uh, yeah. about uh, the whole choices about air conditioning. Uh, you really uh, uh, said it really nice. Look at nature. Where do you see the mushrooms in nature? Uh, and uh, how can you um, uh, recreate these conditions? Uh, and that is uh, not with an air conditioning. Uh, and the system uh, that we provide uh, is uh, much more basic, much more cheaper, uh, and much more easier uh, to implement. Uh, the plans are uh, on the blog. Uh, the Mushroom Cultivation Handbook uh, for the Small Entrepreneur is on the community platform. Um, so uh, maybe we uh, see you there uh, in, uh, in, in the platform uh, very soon. Uh, thanks for your attention and uh, goodbye. And be aware that we really, really want to make your business successful.